Welcome back, everyone, to Uza Infinite Wealth. Last time we unlocked Fujimon League. That's a thing now. <laughs> and also, uh, so basically we went to the mall. We went to the mall to basically get some equipment for you. Sector 5. And so we got some equipment from there. And it's Sujimon Professor's here, the Sujimon Sensei, I should say. And, yeah, ends up, uh, oh wow, wait, ooh, I can do these. Yeah, why not, I'll do a Sujimon battle. But yeah, uh, we unlocked the Sujimon League, now we can actually capture Sujimon and do leagues and all that and battle other people. Kind of like Pokemon, but it's 3v3. Then, we finished the side quest for the guy whose wife was dying and wanted to see snow. It was real touching. It was. Alright, let's see, is it active? It is. It's level 15. I'm almost dead. I should have ate before I got here. Actually, is there anything to eat? Mocha Mahalo. We'll be back in a second. Keep your eyes straight ahead. This ain't a show, dipshit. Last I checked, I wasn't watching. Aloha. Thank you for. Bam. I do plan doing quests. Not the main quest today. Hey, it works. Mm. It's not bad. Delicious. It's just that last. Oh. Last time I Show me what I actually do the main story for us, so I want sushi mod. Yeah. Oh wow, that was a lot of fun. Oh, welcome. Right back to the race. Nice to hop on. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, let's do that. Do you look at it? There's a chance I can get two tickets, a common Sujimon gift, five, okay. A shiver. Don't cry, you young mama! The battle is on! The lull pick. Follow my lead. Damn, I'm so slow. Never mind. Cool. Oh, come on, bring it! Nice knowing you. Oh, that was actually easier than I thought. Alright, we got the tickets. Oh, let's recruit this Sujimon. Oh, what the hell? We're gonna ignore these. There you Here's go. a little something from me. Are you sure? I gotta go with my gut here. Okay, I'm you're on. Very good at matching. Thank God. All right. Lethal charge. Lean into immersive just knife blow and take control of the opponent's mind. I say it's technically confused. Interesting. And that's how you capture Let Sujimon. Me at him. Kind of. Who are you? Uh huh. I'm not going to do any Sujimon battles yet. Ooh. Alright, we did our one Sujimon battle. Let's get to District 5, shall we? Ooh, level thirteen. Saying a show, dipshit. Yes. 
Saying it's Joe, dipshit. You know what? Show me what you got. I'm capturing yeah. all the food you want. Oh, well, I can do this. Oh, okay, they don't fly back. Looks like I'm up. What's the hold up? No, let's not try and waste energy and help you. Probably dungeon and all that. I won't hold back. Cool. I got Suji Munch. Recruit immediately. He seems cool. Hey, fight's over, man. I know the fight's over. That's why I'm giving you advice. There you go. There's a little something from me. Oh no. Whoa, hang on. Guess you're the boss now. Oh, okay. oh, I screwed that up. Full force slam, an uncompromising blow from overhead. All right, we got a new Sujimon. Now let's run away because of the boss right there. That was a risky move of mine. You looking for a meeting? I am not, I am not, I am not. Leave me alone. Your problem. What do you want? Actually, hey! I'm here. Hmm? Hmm? No use leaving all this treasure to go to waste. Alright, we got a couple more Sujimon. I'm gonna save. I can only imagine how well this is gonna go. The game set recommends level 13 with 2 plus gear. My gear is for the most part ones with some twos and threes mixed in. Uh, let's just do this, shall we? So this is the get district five. We still have a bit of time before the meeting. Do you just want to wait around for Roman? Yep, there it is. Wait for Roman. Hey, you made it! Finally feel like doing your job for once? Piss off. So you can really get us into District 5? Call me out all you want. Either way, it's time. No more of this standing around. Let's go. Besides, he's our only lead right now. He got me there. Well, after you, Roman. I have a feeling he's not going to backstab them, because if he does, even he's in trouble, so yeah, I think we're fine on that part, but I think something bad's going to happen. Shit. You sure it's cool if we're here? Here's a question. The hell you want with District 5 anyway? My passport got stolen. Guess the thief used it as a bargaining chip to get inside. Huh. Well, you're wasting your time, then. Once something's in the Barracuda's hands, getting it back is practically suicide. I'm actually after the person who stole it. I'm gonna catch him and ask a few questions. Oh, that right? Hey, what's the holdup? Get this thing open already. Who the fuck are they? Uh, just some Japanese tourists with more money than sense. So they want to see a different side of Hawaii. <laughs> Come on. Not like you've got anything to hide in there, right? Open the gate. I was wondering how he's going to explain why there's a bunch of just normies behind him. <gasps> I got a feeling it's going to look like Arkham City in there. Okay. Get your asses ready for a special guided tour. Worse. Holy cow. Uh, 
Uh, let's hope this tour's a round trip situation, yeah? Don't lag behind, unless you want to end up as a casualty. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Told me having a good time. This area was slated for redevelopment, but it got delayed due to a dispute over who owns the land. Still, no matter what country you're in, once something's abandoned, a homeless come knocking. This place became a shanty town in the blink of an eye. It's close to a lot of tourist attractions, so the government's almost always trying to clear it out. But with people coming in from all over the world, their little game of cat and mouse just keeps on going. Then the Barracudas rolled in, and, well, you can see how that turned out. Yeah, Hawaii's the last place I'd expect something like this. You would think, but a lot of these people come here on a one-way trip. They give their passports to the Barracudas in exchange for a stable place to live. But if they give up their passports, then how do they get back home? They don't go back home. District 5's got everything they could ever want. Shops, a hospital, cafeteria. The Barracudas have set up their own laws and infrastructure here. From the government's point of view, it's more convenient for the homeless to be under Barracuda control than to let them roam the streets. Yeah, but doesn't it cost money to use the shops and all? Where are these people getting the money? Uh, they have their ways. So, you got any leads on your passport thief? Yeah, she's a 20-something Japanese woman. Her name's Chitose. Doubt that's her, her real name. Kinda hard-headed. <laughs> yeah, sure. That ought to narrow it down. Hey, did you see a Japanese woman come through here? Goes by Chitose? Japanese? They actually might know something about that. What do you got? A few days ago, some guys got into a scuffle over in West Block. Apparently a woman showed up out of the blue. Not every day you see a little Asian cutie like her in a dump like District 5. Anyway, she was all by herself with nowhere to stay and didn't have a mind to bring a tent. As you can guess, the fight broke out real quick over who got dibs in that one. Huh. Who'd the gal end up staying with? Don't know. Wasn't there to see the mayhem. Best bet is to ask around West Block. <laughs> it just had to be West Block. Huh? What's West Block? A sector all the way at the ass end of District 5. A lot of bums like to drink and gamble there. Real rough crowd on a good day. You really think so? Is she gonna be okay? Actually, it's a smart move on her part. Pal up to the strongest guy on that end, and it's easy living from there on. Of course, nothing comes for free. Even in a rat hole like this. <laughs> and you seriously call yourself a cop? <sighs> anyway, West Block's waiting. Let's go. Hey. We hang around right here. We'll end up in what they call West Block. From what our friend said, someone there won the fight for Chitose. That's to who? That's for you to figure out. What? Oh, what? I thought you were supposed to be our guide. You think I'm bad. People in West Block are even worse. I try to avoid them whenever I can. <laughs> Besides, what's a trip without a few fun surprises? Mine? Whatever. They definitely got lots of guns here. We need to slow down now. Fine. What's up? Hey there. Do you know a woman named Chitose? Uh, Chitose? Uh, yeah! Ah, this guy's trashed, man. Chitose? Oh, look, girl, I haven't seen a baby like that in ages. I gotta know that real quick. <laughs> you heard about the brawl? Who came on top? Yeah. I didn't get a rip once I lost. 
So you don't have any clue as to who it might have been. Uh huh. Uh, look, by I ain't of any flash on the dig. Look, there's more where that's still. Look, just work with us a little. Curious, son, can you sp spare some change? Thank you. Thanks, man. Here, get yourself another cold one on us. Uh huh. Try the dude working out over there. Yeah. Damn! Look at the signs of him. Good chance he won the battle royale. Let's see what he has to say. Sorry about the money, cure you son. I'll make sure to pay you back. Not quite. That was necessary. I'll put on a tab with the di diogen. Man, he sobered up real quick. Hang on, this says Chitose. Oh wait, Buster Holmes. Never mind. All right. Sup? Hey, you the guy Chitose staying with? Get lost. Right. I smells a charm or two, huh? Stop! What was that? Oh, I mean, uh... Hi. I'm looking for a woman named Chitose. You know where she might be? Who's asking? Listen, I'm sure we don't have to tell you that surviving out here here's o about brains over the What? Dawn. What? So, what's your intuition telling you? Is finding us really the right call? What do you want? Oh, like we said, we're trying to find a woman named Chitose. The fight broke out over her, right? We need no. We need to know where she ended up. Ah. Oh, then you're gonna want Jose. So he's the big winner, huh? Where's his tent? Hey, watch it. Cocky attitude, like that'll kill you. Uh, Kiryu-san. Ah, uh, thanks, Kiryu-san. Thought we were screwed for a second. That would have been on you. For real, you really pushed this guy's buttons. But I'm glad we were right. We're all right. Way to keep things cool at like usual, Kirison. Just be glad he was understanding. Now let's find this Jose. Guy. I get ya. Right, we're off. We're gonna ask what to make questions, and this place is gonna attack us. All right. I can handle anything. Now then. Mr. Knife. Are you Jose? <laughs> <laughs> Good help over here. You, you're looking for Jose's tent, right? What do you want to know? What, you know, oh, sorry. What do you, what, you know something? Jose's got everyone jealous these days. He's been courting that little lady, you know? Mm -hmm. Courting? I'm saying those two are thing now. <laughs> All he does is brag about her. Keep saying he's gonna marry her and have kids, the whole nine yards. So where is he then? Tent all the way at that end with the deck chair. If you plan to speak with him, I suggest you watch your back. He's quirky. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know. So this Jose really So this Jose really beat up that big buff dude? Just don't set him off, alright? I won't. <laughs> you sure? Anyway, let's go. Alright. I'm going to take a guess and say one or two things. Either that's a nerd in there. Or it's actually like a no, not a nerd. It's a normal looking guy. Normal looking guy, or it's a buff dude. Also, I don't know why she'd be here. I think she's undercover trying to find something. Not undercover, but she. Well, you know what I mean. Alright, let's see. I don't see anything over there. I don't see anything over there. Damn, so much for cheating. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You Japanese? Oh, that's not the voice I thought would go with that body. You're Jose, right? We're looking for a woman named Chitose. You know her? 
You got a thing for my girl? You just say his girl? Look, I'm not here to mess with whatever you got going on. I just want to ask her something. So, can I see her? <laughs> Buzz off. I decide who she sees, and I say no. Come on, man, this is important. The girl stole my passport. I just want it back. I see. You're from the outside and came to steal her back. That it? No. No wonder I didn't recognize you. Well, you better think twice, pal. No way I'm letting that sweet little thing go. Man, what part of I just want my passport do you not get? Open your ears. I just want to ask her something and go. We're done here. Hey, boys! Oh, wow, man. Getting rid of these clowns. He's quick on the trigger. Hey, hang on. We got the police with us. Hey, Roman. Do something, will you? He knows better. <laughs> like I'd throw myself between a gang of homeless goons and some no-name foreigners. I only serve the American public, friendo. I am an American, you ass! Gosh, you full of shit! Yeah, well, you brought this on yourselves. But hey, best of luck. If you pull through, we'll keep on with the tour. Here you, son. How are you holding up? <sighs> Aside from wishing I'd kept my mouth shut? Might help to stop asking how I'm doing every five seconds. Hey, can you blame me? Don't worry about me. Let's just end this quick. Right. I'm oh, cool. I can do this. I can do this. Now, have at him. That's definitely not the voice. Yes, I I the Let's do it. Jose Henderson. All right. All right. Who wants a talk? I'll take you on. Follow my lead. Always on. Time to take out the trash. Thank you. Aim better. I won't hold back. Looks like I'm up. Cool. Something wrong? Follow my lead. Jose son. <laughs> if you're really in love with Chitose, you gotta choose your words carefully. Understand? Huh? For starters, don't ever call her your girl. Not even by accident. You don't want to mess up like I did, right? Uh sure. Oh no, he's giving them advice. So where's Chitose? Mm. Uh, well, you see, she, well, she ran off. She ran off? It was that first night. She was offering me drinks. Got a little carried away and sipped one too many. I've heard that story before. Yep. Hey, she drugged me, okay? And wait, if that happened on the first night, then... All right, look, I didn't bang her or nothing. You happy? She was gone before I knew it. Uh, yeah, you still went around bragging like she was your property. What an asshole. Anyway, then what? She was 
asking me about the Barracudas and how she could meet them and whatnot. So I told her how to get to the underside. Wait, you told some girl who just wandered in how to get into the underside? More like I let it slip out. Yeah. Oh, idiot. Well, hold up. What's the underside? Sorry, boys. The tour's over. Just, just forget about the girl. Oh man, when? Oh geez, the underside must be really bad. If he's like, nope, not even going there. That'd be nice. <laughs> but we come too far. What the hell's the underside? You tuck down, you moron. Look, let's just call it here. You stick your neck out any further, and the axe is gonna fall real fast. We can't do that. I'm taking back what's rightfully mine, and she's got some answers to give. We don't have much time. If Chitos is in this underside, then show us how to get there. Sorry, but you don't get a say in this. <laughs> But promise me one thing. From here on, no more funny business, you hear me? You move when I say so, and keep your mouths shut. That depends on what kind of place we're going. Now, show us the way. Shit. Okay. Follow me. This is probably where the trouble's gonna be held. Is it that door over there? Hey, Roman. The way you talk about the underside, is it really that bad? Oh what? The scowl on my face didn't clue you in enough? Come on, let's just try to get along. You know, I'd be a lot more agreeable if you just gave up. That'd be easier, sure. But this isn't a game for us. Was that right? Then at least shut up. Still good to go. We're going down. Party of four. The boss give you the okay? Don't give me that shit. You want me to take you out of here in cuffs? This is it. The gateway to a damn near parallel universe. It's the upside down. Is it gonna be like an underworld in uh Kamarocho? Or is uh, it gonna be worse? Sewer, huh? Oh, <laughs> you said parallel universe. Just stick close, smart ass. Roman, what the hell do you want? Nothing. Just a bit of sightseeing. And who are they? Sightseers. What else? Okay, hold on. You even run this by the boss? Hey, do me a solid, won't you? I promise. We'll behave. Five dollar bills. I know what money that is. Huh. Behavior only gets you so far. Alright, let's see what's in there. Oh, it's gonna be a cutscene, too. It's gonna be like a night. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like Kamarocho's underground Whoa, casino. What the hell is this? Holy cow, immediate. There's a mall. Under. Oh, it is the parallel universe. What is this? The. Anaconda Shopping Center? I see. So this is the underside of District 5. It used to be an air raid shelter, built after you boys bombed our asses at Pearl Harbor. But it went untouched, and now it's just another relic of the war. Fast forward a half century to when the Barracudas came across it. Remodeled it in no time flat. <laughs> Why'd they want to recreate a big famous mall underground now? And who the heck are all these customers? Who's doing their shopping down here? 
take a closer look. A fashion show? Whew. Designer brand, too. She's all decked out. Uh, is she? Oh, you serious, dude? The code itself is easily worth 10 grand. And them? What are they doing? Bidding. The stuff she's wearing is the merch, and the audience surrounding her is the buyers. The, but, but then, why would anyone come down here just to shop? Uh, hang on a sec. Is all this stuff stolen? <laughs> I'd say stolen's putting it lightly. Everything you see here, no matter how real it looks, is a District 5 original, made in-house. They're knockoffs? Oh, they're more than just your average knockoffs. These are perfect replicas, down to the very last stitch. Patterns on the fabric included. Crazy bastards smuggle it out of the actual factories. How? I have no idea. That is crazy. One could almost say they do designer brands better than the designers. And that's what makes this the greatest counterfeit market on Earth. As well as the biggest. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this in District 5. The world's biggest counterfeit market. And the buyers? They're aware of that? Of course. And not only that, but they're legitimate employees. They're the actual buyers for the department stores you know and love. They come in from the mainland, Japan, heck, all over the world. You mean everything they buy here goes up on the shelves? Yeah, the buyers pass them off as the real thing and sell it straight to the stores themselves. And the difference in price goes directly into their pockets. A single trip could net them hundreds of thousands of dollars. No matter how good of a buyer you are, I'm sure it's hard to resist the appeal. Meanwhile, the customers don't have a clue. They throw money left and right without even batting an eye. The best part is, they don't even care if it's real or not. For most of these people, all that matters is that they bought an expensive brand from a famous department store. The act itself is what keeps them going. Uh, wait. Uh, here's the question. How'd all these people even get down here? You telling me they trudge through the sewers dressed like that? <laughs> They have their own special way in. Can't tell you more than that, though. Is everything in that window a counterfeit, too? Yep. They've got a factory pumping this stuff out 24-7. I see. And they're putting the homeless up top to work. Bingo. The pay outright sucks, but it's enough to make it by in District 5. Well, it's wild. I'll give you that. But still, where the heck's Jitose? I don't see her here. Well, let's dig a little deeper. Not gonna lie, I'd rather be in this Malk's how cool it is rather than the homeless camp where I can immediately get stot shabbed. Stot and shabbed. Man, I really... Where I can immediately get shot and stabbed. Shot and tabbed. God. So this is where they cook up all the counterfeits. Looks like no one's home. I thought it's supposed to be running 24-7. A trap? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Oh, Roman! Hey, who got there with you? Oh, these guys? <laughs> they're, they're, they're no one. Anyway, what happened here? You shut the whole place down? Yeah. Didn't want to stain the merchandise. Stain it? <laughs> oh, come on, man. You don't think that I would... <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Roman! You really thought you could bring in outsiders? To the core of our operation, Vendeo! Oh, I'm gonna, we're gonna kick your ass. I 
ticket you're no ordinary. I mean, I saw him dying at some point because you're bringing us places we shouldn't go. Still, it sucks. Even if he was a crooked cop. You tourists. Now start talking. Or would you rather spill your guts for real? All right. We're looking for a girl named Chitose. You ever heard of her? Kill him. I'll bury you! Bring it on. Yeah! I'm a dog with you now. You know what? I found Chitose. We ought to scram for now. No, we keep moving. What? If Chitose's here, then she'll be further in. Yeah, but bust down the door like that? We have no idea what's waiting for us. If we turn back now, we're not getting back in. He's right. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, fine. We're right behind you. I mean, he makes Let's a go. really good point. If we leave, there's no way we're getting back in. Let's bring it on. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Take it out of commission temporarily. Yeah. Follow my lead. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Forty-six bucks per fight. That's not bad. Okay, I think that's all of them. All right, no turning back now. Got to keep moving. <clears throat> yeah, glad to have you with us. Man, it still sucks. Roman's dead. But like I said, we saw that coming. <laughs> you know what? I feel like doing something. Break, 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 break. Collision freaking out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can't resist. You put me in a room with collision, then everything has to. Oh, oh everything's sell down. Oh, okay. I don't feel great. What are you talking about? You have more than half health. Shut it, man. I have at least less health than you. What? Right, you don't want to mess with me. Okay, you asked for it. Yeah. Good. Ah! You 
clear the full. Follow my lead. Breaking and handle this. I guess I great to do that just to take out two weak guys. It's like I'm up. Down. Come on. You know what? I'll Here I come. Yeah, I do. Stronger. Oh, good stat increase. All right, I take it this is a dungeon. It's down. Yay! All right, I think I mastered it enough. I bet you Chitose no, is being held Bring it on. Bring it on. Or something like that. I have no idea. Looks like I'm up. Oh, he has a keg. I'll take He's resistant. Right, so do not go for him. You're going for this guy. Nice. I won't hold back. No. There we go. Cool. I prefer if we finish the pinball. Suck on this! Oh. All right. Here I come. Here I am. Oh. Yes. Good Good right. Not a dead Not a dead Not a dead Actually, give me a second. Trying to hear the music. It might. I think it's really good. You seriously? It's bring it on. Let's do it. Good. I was aiming to. Follow my lead. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Looks like I'm up. Don't get got you now. Uh. Cool. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I'm no. oh, exactly. Learning more every day. Oh wow, five attack. That's a good stat increase for Kiryu. I get four, he gets five. Uh, 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 I see an item going back. Also, I got two keys about the one I got one from the side quest. So. Ooh, toughness light. Okay. If I see a gold chest, won't be able to open. If I show up in some silver. Mm -hmm. Let's get serious. Yeah, I saw you back there. Should I open it? Oh, I have three guys. Okay. Running shoes. One second. All right, who has? All right, you have loafers. You're not getting the shoes. Running shoes give you. Okay, you have 97 defense. I have 99. All right, Kiryu. There you go. So, you actually make it this far, huh? Hey, boys, we got a few rats. These guys are tough. What's their plan, Kazakhan? Let them come. Doesn't change a thing. We take them down, push on through. You're really pissing me off. The battle is on. I won't hold back. That guy really likes his rocket, uh, his shotgun, I was gonna say. Yeah. All right. Screw you. Something wrong? Here I come! Yes! Are you getting scared? Open one! Yeah! So I the guy in the back? I did. What's the hold up? Come at me! Don't, don't, don't come any closer! Huh? Get closer, man. You're just out of the circle. 
How big is this place? Sheesh. Where's Kiryu? Ah, oh, beats me. Uh oh. oh Kiryu san! Hey, you okay? Yeah. Shoot, we got company. We'll hide in there. Where'd they go? They're gone. They've got to be in here. Find them. So far, we need a plan. <sighs> yeah, we do. Believe me, you're not the only one. <gasps> well, it's been a minute, kasuka san <laughs> How's Hawaii treating you? Chitose-san! <gasps> Chitose? You mean this is her? This is the girl that tricked you and stole your shit? More importantly, she's the only person who has a connection to Akane-san. I didn't expect her to come to us herself. These two are new to me. Friends of yours, Kasuka-san? I'm Chitose. Nice to meet you. So your name's actually oh, yeah. Chitose. Okay. Pleasure's all mine. So what are you even doing here? The surface is one thing, but this is something else. Well, I've got my reasons. But if you want the quick version, the Barracudas are after me. The Barracudas want you? The heck did you do? If I had to guess, it's because I know too much. About their counterfeiting gig? Huh? No, Akane-san. They're after her too, you know. Wait, they're what? Kasuga, don't you remember what Yamai said? Right. He was also looking for Akane-san. Man, what the hell? Wait, is she actually her not made maid? What? Is every lowlife on the island in on this? Chitose chan, do you think you could tell us more? <laughs> sure, I can tell you, but maybe take a break first. You went through a lot to get here, right? What are you after? What's your problem? Don't give me that look. I'm just trying to be considerate. Yeah, Tomazawa. She's probably right. Let's 
cool it for a bit. I'm pretty tired myself. Got it. Eh, fish ain't show. Hey, looks like there's all sorts of useful stuff here. Let me know when you're ready to move on. Are you gonna backstab us again? Oh, that's the save spot. Immediately healing. There we go. We're not gonna be able to go through the door. We can save. And then I guess talk to Chitose. Who I guess his name Chitose after all. Sweet, got a banana. Nope, nope, no. We'll talk to you first. Ah. Fine. Make me ask, girl. Hey there. You guys are probably tired. Oh, aren't you? I say rest up first. We can talk to her after. You're about to get... Oh, yeah, okay. Jeez, you're warning me. So, let me see. What was my last save? So, you... Hello. Finish napping. That's well, your. Uh -huh. Yeah. So can you tell us the story now? Right. Probably should go through things in order. I was at Akane San's four days a week. She hired me to do housework. Oh, okay. So you are technically. About made. ten days ago. Actually, it's been twelve days. She up and disappeared without warning. Twelve days ago. Were there any signs you could see it coming? Nope. That day I went to her house like always, but the door was locked and nobody was home. I thought she just stepped out to run an errand or something, but the next day and the day after, she was still gone. Did you call the police at all? No. You see, exchange students in Hawaii aren't exactly allowed to have part-time jobs. If I'd reported it, they might have figured out I was working here illegally. Meaning... When I went to the house, the Kane-san was already long gone. So, wait, what were you still doing there? The Kane-san never gave me my last paycheck. And it was a whole month's worth, too. I went in to get it for myself. The Kane-san told me where she kept the money, and also how she had a spare key under the doormat. Sure enough, that was when you showed up. If that was the case, why didn't you just tell me what happened? Right. Like you would have believed me with all that? <sighs> yeah. Good point. If you reported me to the police, I'd have been screwed. That's trespassing and robbery. But instead you got me arrested and almost locked up for more than 20 years. All things considered, I had to get you out of there. And that's why you got me wasted off my ass and dumped me on the beach? Eh, more or less. Okay, but was stripping me down really necessary? Thanks to you, my naked ass got jumped by the police! That was the plan. You'd be so caught up in trying to protect yourself, you wouldn't even have time to chase me down. Guess that's one way to do it. Anyway, what are you doing here in District 5? <sighs> well... Oh, what? Don't clam up now! You guys gotta promise. Not a word of this to anyone else, okay? You want us to promise? You got any idea what we've been through? All right. We promise. Hey! Kazuga! Sure, she might have set me up, but it's got nothing to do with the fact that she's got a secret to keep. Right now, our priority is to find out what's going on. Yeah? <laughs> That's how you see it. I guess an outsider like me ought to hush up. Hey, you're anything but. Thanks, Tomizawa. All right, we promise to keep quiet. Can you tell us why you came? <sighs> okay. But remember, you don't tell anyone, got it? Got it. Don't sweat. The boss would always compliment me on how well I could keep a secret. Huh? Sure, whatever. The reason I came to District 5 it has to do with my family. Your family? Back in Japan? Do you know the name Fujinomiya at all? Uh, can't say I do. Hang on. The Fujinomiyas are major players in Japan's economy. 
Figures one of you would know. If only everyone were more like Kasuga-san. Things wouldn't be so tough. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. So... <sighs> so, I'm the eldest daughter of the Fujinomiya family. And, as it turns out, I'm the top candidate for their successor. Wait, so like, you're some super sheltered rich girl? Well, if you want to put a label on it. But yeah, basically. Sure, coming from a famous family has its perks. But in reality, they're all just a bunch of lunatics who will do whatever it takes to keep up the family name. It's a prestige thing, huh? That's not too different from the Yakuza. If you ratted me out to the police, and my family found out about my part-time job... Just thinking about it, I... It's terrifying. Of course, I knew District 5 was dangerous coming in. But I heard that once you're inside, you can essentially disappear. Even the police can't get their hands on you. That's why, after I got you zonged, I immediately skipped over here. Word around town was that you needed a passport to get in. Oh, so the reason you took all my stuff was partly to get at my passport. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I get it. It makes sense, but man, that's one reckless stunt you pulled. I, I was desperate. And it's not like I don't feel bad, you know? One thing I don't get. Your family's totally loaded, right? Why would anyone bother to go through all that trouble for a month's pay at a part-time job? Your folks can just wire you however much you want, right? Here's the thought. Why do you think rich people actually get rich? No clue, actually. It's because they're stingy. Okay, I think I get why Jitose Chan set me up. Now we just need to figure out what the Barracudas want with her. Yo! Are you really okay with what you just heard? I mean, she's basically pulled you into this mess. There's a lot we don't know. Let's ask her when the time's right. Huh. Still more do you want to ask? Yep. Okay. Well. It's pretty clear why you set up Kasuga. Next, let's hear about why the Barracudas are out to get you. I'm sure there's a story there. Okay, so apparently it's rare for someone like me to turn up around here. Soon as I entered District 5, they took me straight to the guy in charge. Wait, wait. You mean the Barracudas boss? Yeah. And after we talked, he seemed to take a liking to me. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't look too unhappy about it. What then? Well, then, the boss decided to keep me at his hideout. And by keep, you mean... Look, I'm sure you can piece it together for yourself. Anything was better than having my family find out. At least, that's what I told myself. But it was kind of a bust. He never even made a move. I mean, maybe he's just been stressed out or something. <laughs> the hell do I say to that? Hmm. They gave me a room and everything, but I was bored out of my mind in there. They told me not to leave the room, but I snuck out and explored a bit anyway. Next thing you know, I find this in the boss's study. That's Akane-san! There's all kinds of info about her on here. Dress, phone number, height, facial features. Ew, hey, wait a, wait a second. You might have this too. Right. He's after her, same as these guys. What's it all mean? Why are all these gangsters chasing after Akane-san? I don't know. But it's worth noting I found this in the trash. That probably means he doesn't need this anymore, right? More than that, couldn't it mean the Barracudas actually got to her? <sighs> With that in mind, I thought there might be a chance they were holding her somewhere nearby. That's why I started snooping around all their factories and stuff. But a bunch of lackeys caught on to me, and now I've been branded some kind of traitor. <sighs> Long story short. Talk about reckless. Really, I'm just glad I was able to meet up with you guys. 
You're on the run too, right? Why not team up? I'll show you the way out of here. And in exchange, you guys will be my bodyguards. Sound good? Whoa, slow down a second, all right, princess? Kasuka, whatever you decide to do, I'm with you. The Barracuda's boss and I got a score to settle. And I say it's time. All the more so. Now that Roman is dead. Hear you, son? It's your call. I'll follow your lead. Okay, Chitose chan Can you show us the way? But not the way out. I want to see the boss man first. What? Did you hear a word I said? What, you want to take the scenic route for this guy? No. Actually, I'm choosing this for myself. Kane-san might be my flesh and blood mom, and I'm not gonna abandon her. Simple as that. And if you're too scared to go back, could you at least point us in the right direction? Are you serious about this? Yeah. Truth be told, I'm worried about Akane-san too. If she hadn't hired me, I'd probably be face down in a gutter somewhere. Then... That said, there's no point in rushing to our deaths. Things get dangerous, we bail. Okay? Okay. Counting on you, Chi-chan. Uh, I'm sorry. What? Chi-chan. It's a nickname. <sighs> You've never had a girlfriend, have you? Wait. Don't you know that? <laughs> never mind. Let's do it, Ichiban. Okay. Follow me. Kasuga. Hey, don't sweat it. I told you. I'm doing this one for me. Mind lending a hand? Right. Thanks. No need to slow down now. All right, let's do this. Can't run. This is the end of the map for the moment. Oh, hey guys. Oh, we got meet Chi Chan. Oh, they didn't take long. Stand back, Chi Chan. Am I such a gentleman? Unfortunately, I'm not really the damsel in distress tonight. Yeah. Hey. Hey. hey, hey, you're gonna fight too? I'm pretty quick on my feet, you know. Trust me, I won't hold you back. Huh. Let's see what you got then. Take all the help you come on. You're still getting slaughtered. I'll go see you at the Let's do it! it. Okay, yeah, she is quick. We got more train pros, which attack agility. This one. Knock back medium. Something wrong and catwalk trance. Okay. Let's try that with that. I won't hold that. She still pushes back, I think. Let's try it. No, okay. Do I have anything that will break this? No, I don't. Alright! Something wrong? Here I come! Who do I add it in me? Hey! I'm even stronger now. The 
Damn it. Don't think you're getting out of here alive. Oh, that's a smile. Huh. Wow, what the hell? He flipped the security system. He flipped the security system. Looks like those ladies are speaking business. We'll just keep pushing through. Just be careful not to touch them, alright? Pay close attention to how they're moving. We're gonna have to time this just right. Right, let's do this. Chitose is accompanying us. She is not a team member, just a company. But does that mean. Eris. Okay. Sport. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Here, have a punk choker. Okay, right, you use the choker. Okay. Running clothes. Loafers. Okay. Immediately, I'm giving you. No, not MP. No. Oh, I need to give that to him. Not willpower. I'll give you some insoles and. I'm also gonna give you. Um. Actually, I'm gonna give you that. Okay. Okay, safety brooch. What's that do? Increase defense, maybe? Safety, safety, safety. Oh, there it is. Yeah, increase the defense by 10. Okay. Shock that made it through without getting hit. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's do it. You want? You won't get it unless you heal. The battle is on. Okay. Hey boys, Chitose has a new weapon. Well, that went actually really well. Thanks, Chitose. I'm still shocked that you're right. By the way. Doing better than I thought. All right. I'm feeling great. Oh, man. I was hoping that was double lasers. Wait. 
wait, 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 wait. I mean, you want to slow down so you don't get hit what by you lasers. At? I'm gonna school you. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna down. School you. Okay, I'm up. Right. Present for you. <laughs> I won't do that. your worst. Yeah. Oh, come on. Bring it. <laughs> Actually, damn it, I didn't finish him. Wait, what? Um, ah, you're all wrong. Please, no. Lasers this way too. Okay, be careful. Just walk, walk, walk. Should I open it? Sweet. Cyber choker. Oh. Okay, so that's for her. It's actually worse. Yeah, it's a lot worse. I'll have to upgrade it if I want to use it. Okay. Just move with the lasers. Fine, then. Move with the laser. Okay. I'm feeling good. That's good. Let's go. Oh, you're kidding me. Ow! Hey, careful, Kasuka. Keep slipping up like that and you're done for. We can't afford any missteps. Figure out the timing, then dash through all at once. Oh, I finally got hit by a laser. Only does 30 damage, so it could be close. Wait. Looks like we can take a break here. Let's lay low for a bit. Oh, I think that went well. I got hit by the laser once, which sucks, but whatever. What time is it? Just gotta keep an eye on the time. Okay, I still got an hour before the gym. Alright, let's see if I can finish this area and then call it. Oh, we're back out in the fake mall. Hey, we're back at the shopping center. What happened to you taking us to the Barracuda's hideout? What do you mean, what happened? See that runway? Keep going past that, and there's an elevator that leads right to it. It's over there? Looks like it's deserted. We've got a clear shot. I wonder... No, okay, I was gonna say, I wonder if you can go into shops and buy things, but... I guess not. I'll be fine. Ha <laughs> ha! A warm welcome to our impromptu guests! 
Now let's get this show on the road. First up, we got an all-access look at our newest collection. And it's not just hot, it's to die for. Damn it! You assholes call this a fashion show? We're not here to turn heads. I'll be happy to oblige. Oh. All right, come on. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh come on. Break. Put your hands together for our top model extraordinaire! Uh oh. Showtime's over, boys and girls! Say your prayers! Now it's sounding like one of the okay, prank huh? songs I used to listen to back in high school. I won't take that. Looks like I'm up. No. Sure, I'll play with you. Don't got gotcha you now. Learner. Hmm. Well, we just be up an entire fashion show. Nice. Get in. So, where does this thing go? On the left, goes back to the surface. You'll see when we hotel. get there. This is Crystal Aloha. Crystal Aloha? Crystal Aloha Resort Hotel. It's the swankiest hotel in Hawaii. What? <laughs> Crazy, right? This hotel's been top of its class for a hundred years. There's over 500 guest rooms, and the top floor's got views of the whole beach, all the way up to Diamond Head. It's practically the face of Hawaii. Man, what a trip! To think that elevator would lead all the way up here! At first, I couldn't believe it either. You saw the bidders down there, right? The ones who were all dressed up? There you go. This is how they get down there. Oh, so that's how they do it. So, does the Barracuda's head honcho live here, then? Yeah. He's got the whole top floor rented out as his own personal palace. And that's not even half of it. He keeps all of his top dogs up here, too. If they're holding Akane-san captive, this is where we'll find her. 
This elevator only goes up to here, though. You mean we gotta switch to another elevator? Right. There's a guest elevator just outside. We can take that up. Follow me. Here she is! Hey! It's them! The guys who are stirring up shit underground! Whoops. Seriously? Busted already? Hey yo, hey yo, man, fuck that! Don't let any of these assholes leave! Hey yo, hey yo, man. Okay. No getting around them. Let's break through! Alright, let's use our fists. Let's go! Alright, let's go! Oh, okay, I'm up. are those? But if it, wait, uh, uh, I'm sorry. What are? What, 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 are, what, 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 what are those flamethrowers? I won't hold back. Think you can handle this? Looks like I'm ready. Who you are? Ooh, good job, guys. Let's take out the gunners. Oh, wow, I took out way more than the gunners. Man, I love the knockback mechanic. That's really good. I got $1,000. Hmm. Alright, we all know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be looking around for a loot. Oh, wait. Cafe Lou. Okay. Anything up there? Come on, running by? No. Oh, hold up! Sorry, we'll help. Ready to run! Two ways to go. I'm going this way. So all the rich people come to this hotel. And then they do their business under the hotel illegally. There's course. an elevator just past here. We can take that up to the 15th floor. Okay. We're right behind you, Chichan. Hey, do you really not have any doubts? About what? Everything I'm telling you. Who knows? Maybe I'm following the boss's orders and leading you right into a trap. That ever cross your mind? I told you he was keeping me in his room, remember? I mean, think about it. I ripped you off once already. For all you know, the elevator's packed with a bunch of dudes with machine guns or something. Well, we'll go from there then. I'm sure it'll work out. What? I'm serious. I made the decision to trust you after all. If that bites me in the ass, so what? I swear to god, there's a elevator full of guys with machine guns. Oh, okay. <sighs> What's up, Chichan? Sorry, I made a wrong turn. Huh? This whole area kind of runs together, so I made a mistake. Oh, she Ooh. was going to lead us into a trap. We need to go this way. Hurry. Uh, right. Ah, that would have probably led us up to a bunch of guys that gun us down. Oh, there's a door there. Stop walking by it. Hey, it's just a dead end. 
Don't tell me you're lost. So you think, right? Now get a load of this. Whoa! A secret passage. Between this and all those lasers underground, the Barracudas must really want to keep people out. Yeah, shocker. You have to if you want to survive in Hawaii's underworld. In we go. Yeah. So, if we took that elevator, there would probably been a lot of guys up there that would kill us. So she is not on our team, she's still on his team. She's having a conscious. And that must be the ending. Okay. Let's do it. You seriously piss me off. I'll beat you step -sister. Show me what you got. Did you just say he's gonna beat okay, my stepsister? I must have missed her. Ah! The fools don't stand next to Follow my lead. Also, you do not give me a room full of items, because I will do this. Always. Trying to gas us. Guess they're not messing around anymore. How's it going? We can't stay here for long. I get ya. Roger, let's make this quick. Let's do it! Yay, poison! Damn it. You've been standing still wearing me out. Right. Send these apples packing, then make them run for it. Gotta hold it together. It's all worked out now. Open one! Trust you! Uh, poisonous saw to drag my feet. Do your work! Oh, oh damn it, there's no way. Well, Time to see what that weapon does. Oh, it is a flamethrower. You're dead feet! I'm just not feeling it. This sucks. This is no way. Sorry about it. Learn more every day. Graham, why you. Oh, who's messaging me on Discord, eh? It's a bit early. Move your ass, Kasuga. Keep dragging it along and you're good as dead. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, actually, wait, there was a gear I picked up. Um, maybe. I'm, I'm not going to put down now. I'm happy with the two things I have. Wait! Wait! What an asshole! The battle is on! Sorry if I messed this up. Don't get caught! You want some or not? Think you can handle this? Do your work! Do your work! Do your work! Gotta hold it together. What are you standing around for? Oh, we'll see, I guess. I'm just not feeling it. Oh, sorry to drag my feet. Who do I add it in me? 
Right, there's a heal up ahead. All right. I think I got everything too. Nice. Looks like the gas hasn't made it this far. <gasps> I thought I was going to die. <gasps> Should I open it? Got it. All right, running camp. Who needs defense? You're already at level two everything. I'm going to ignore you. You got Madam's Visor. Oh, okay. No one gets it. We don't need it. All right. Selvers, take us up to Barracuda's boss. Do we go now or maybe get a quick break first? Take the elevator. And let's kick his ass. This is the door to the boss's suite. There's a good chance he'll be inside. And he calls the shots, huh? Must be a real scumbag. Let's make sure we're good and ready before we head in. Let me at him. I wonder if it's gonna be the monitor guy from the other past. No, wait, no. Did he die? I don't think he died. I don't know. I don't think it's him, though. Maybe his son. No, his son is actually living a legit life with a wife. Never mind. Maybe it's just new character. <sighs> it's probably just new character. <sighs> If I still had Ichiban confections, this room would be mine. But every chance doing her own thing. Pretty nice, huh? A perfect view of paradise. That voice sounds familiar. It's funny. It's until last century, this place was nothing but a taro field. Far as the eye could see. Agriculture was about the only industry keeping this island afloat. Then the white man came along and saw an opportunity. They crushed the fields. Brought in sand by the boatload from sunny California. And what was it all for? Some fancy ass resort built for some fancy ass sons of bitches. That paradise you see, it's all smoke and mirrors from sea to shiny sea. Yeah, what's your point? It ain't obvious. <laughs> I'm saying a fate can hold more value than even the genuine article. Ichiba Kasuka. High time you met the head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. Dwight Mendez, Barracuda Kingpin. Nice to know I've made a name for myself out here. I actually hold quite a bit of respect for the Japanese people. About a hundred years ago, a number of your people immigrated to my country. They helped plow our farmlands and our country proper. How about that? Nonetheless, I'm surprised you made it this far. That being said, it's not you I'm surprised with now. The real surprise is your spunky little friend. You got guts betraying me like that. Sorry, Ichiban. You know how I told you I escaped after they found me looking through the boss's yeah, study? Yeah, I kinda guessed. That was a lie. The truth is, I actually got caught. And just in time, Kasuka. It was right as you barged in. So I gave Chitose here a choice. She could die then and there, or she could do me a favor. A favor? Remember what I said? About how I might be leading you guys into danger, or a trap, or something. That... I, um... I meant it. What? She did. And it seems our deal fell through. She led you away from my trap. And as a result, you ended up here. Face to face. With yours truly. I see. That was at that elevator. All right. She said she made a wrong turn. I may as well ask. Chitose, why a change of heart? <sighs> Kasuga seemed like the better choice. Mm. Not much more complicated than that. I mean, have you seen how dumb this guy is? Wow. Huh? I've never met someone so sincere in my entire life. I had no way of knowing whether you'd keep me alive, even if I did follow your orders. Kasuga, however, is a different story. I don't think he's even smart enough to cheat someone. 
Wow. Gee, how nice. Really? Tell me this. Do you know what happens to those who betray me? <laughs> who gives? Dios mío. Who would have thought a Fujinomiya would be such a troublemaker? You must cause your parents a lot of headaches. How did you know? Did you expect me not to? The Barracudas have businesses with people all over the world. We would be remiss not to keep tabs on those in power. Besides, it was obvious from the start. The moment I first saw you, I knew you were just another spoiled brat. I figured I could use you, so I kept you around. <laughs> I could kill Kashika and the others anytime, but I drew you in for one simple reason. Their death would have been on you, and few things are so obedient as a guilty conscience. So it goes, I suppose. Don't worry, I won't kill you. No, <laughs> I'll make you my bargaining chip and bleed your family like a stuck pig. You bastard! Well, that explains a few things. Appreciate the kind words, Chichan. Here you go again, Ichiban. You sure you're not mad? Ah, eh, we're coming what to see anyways. I made the choice to trust you, remember? <sighs> you really are an idiot, you know that? All right, enough chit-chat. Hey, hey, hang on. I still got unfinished business. Dwight, remember the robbery that happened on October 7th, 2012? The target was Connie Tanaka, CEO of a well-known real estate company. On her way to visit a business partner, her car was attacked, and a bag of money was stolen. And what's that to you? I'm the one they took in for it even though they had next to no evidence. Oh, you were the fall guy. <laughs> you saved me a lot of trouble. So you admit it? You sicked Roman on me. Had him pin your crimes on me. <laughs> hey, who can say? <laughs> Dwight, there's something I want to ask too. You were looking for a woman named Akane, right? Be straight with me. You guys have already found her, haven't you? Only thing I'll do for you is offer you a way out. I don't think he found in her. In fact, it's the quickest way I know. Cut to pieces and stuffed in a body bag. You know what this baby is? A machete. One of the most useful tools there is. It makes short work of the jungle. Not to mention animals. And here in Hawaii, it's perfect for gutting fish. Bring it on! I think it's time I showed you what this blade of mine can do! Ready to bleed? Alright. Oh, never mind. Oh. Experience. Dwight Mendez. Bear Cree King. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Okay. Oh, that was weird. The circle doesn't exactly follow her at your point. It's weird. Alright, we're gonna do a poultry pose. Okay, let's do this. 
Oh. Okay, I haven't got the time let's yet. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, let's call my new friend. Here's the one. Hey, you freak found me. Oh, oh yeah, yes, thank you. Delivery. Behold. Count on ya. Okay, that's some decent damage. Ooh, he's the, I won't hold back. Alright, he's blocking. Time to go all out! I'm gonna have to heal her. Get over here. Where is she? No. No, get back in the radius. No, you fool. I was going to heal you. So why would you do this to me? Alright, is there an item I can use as a weapon? Actually, yes. Suck on this! This over with. No, 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 no. Woo! You are eating a roast beef sandwich. Be right with you. <laughs> let's go, let's go. You are doing a job. Here I go. You're right. Ooh. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Oh. He's mad. Might be a block scenario. Too late. Follow my lead. Think I'll let you win this? <laughs> I'll stick you like a pig. All right, I'm really curious what this is. It's a grapple, so it would work out. Ooh! Oh my God! Yes, fear. That is amazing. Connie, great. Not Connie. Oh god, oh jeez. Alright, I'm healing. I am not tempting fate here. I still have one turn of pet warrior. That's a really decent summon. Thanks, Nathan. Looks like I'm up. I won't hold back. Done with your tricks? You know what? I'm gonna do this. No. No. This sucks. Alright. I'll let him have the final hit. Got you now. Woo! First wife and child. Is Akane san here or not? All right, all right. I'll be straight with you. We were looking for her, but she never showed up. If you don't believe me, feel free to search the whole floor. What do the Barracudas want with her? Honestly, I don't know. You're looking for her and don't even know why? It's not up to us. We got a request to look for her. We're just doing what we were asked. Request? Request from who? I don't know that either. They reached out to us anonymously. Sent it directly to my address. Seriously, info like that doesn't leak easily. And they sent a million dollars down payment. If we succeed, we would have another nine million coming our way. That's ten million. Just to find some woman. <laughs> sure, it was shady. But who would pass on that? Damn it. You don't know anything else? About Akane-san? About who the hell's chasing after her? If I knew any more, I would have told you already. Ain't that something? That's the most real thing you've said all day.
I assume that about does it for all your Akane-san business, Gasaga? There's a machete next yeah. to his foot. I think I know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Great. Then I guess it's my turn. <laughs> Kiri knows. He doesn't have the end to kill somebody. He can't even pull a trigger on a gun. You give me a yes or a no. That crime I got locked up for. Was that you? Both the setup and bringing in a fall guy? It was your call? Answer me! Okay, okay! Yes, damn it! All right. So it was you. Do you have any idea how bad you fucked me over? And not just me! Wait, wait, stop, stop, wait, wait. Roman might be gone, but I can still wipe your criminal record it's easy. Not that, just say the word. And I got money. A million. No, 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 ten million dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, that'll give you a clean slate. And then some. You'll be set for life. Like hell I will! Oh. You think money's ever gonna bring my kid back? You think money's ever gonna bring you back? This lovely little number here goes viral. That's my promise. Well, I think that about wraps things up. Let's roll. You good now, Tomizawa? Honestly, I'd love to see him fry. But that'd mean sinking to his level. Plus, it's not like taking him out, it's spelled the end of the Barracudas. We don't know who might leak info about Chitose, right? Better to leave him alive. Keep everyone else in line. But why do this for me? <sighs> because, believe it or not, you saved my life too. <laughs> I may not get why, but you still betrayed Dwight. And let us write to him on top of it. We wouldn't be here without you. So, how about we call it even? Between you and Ichiban, I had enough debt as it was. I figured I'd strike one off the list. <laughs> when the hell do you get so cool, Tommy? <laughs> I've always been cool, smartass. <laughs> <laughs> I see in chapter four. That was good. Guess I'll save it here and we're gonna call it. So I think the Barracuda chapter is officially done. And now I think Chitose is gonna become a party member, which doesn't shock me because she's on the cover of the Blade game. But yeah, I have no idea where this is all going. I don't know why they want Akane. I don't know why they're all hunting for her. But clearly someone or some form, some uh, either form of government or group of people want her badly, and I have no idea why. Other than being the boss's uh, love in the past, I don't know what she'd be being chased for, unless she's done other things since she's been technically dead.
Yeah, that was a really good chapter. It was weird to go through a base that reminds me of like a James Bond Mission Impossible type thing, but eh, okay. I like the uh, bo the main boss there. He was a cool guy, but yeah. Then uh, Tommy got his not come up. It he never he didn't get back at him for everything, but he doesn't want to sink to his level, which we probably all knew that was coming as soon as Kiryu stopped him. He's like he doesn't have, and also he can't even shoot a gun. Every time he holds a gun, his hands shake. He, if he, I, he, I doubt he can even do it. But yeah. Well, until next time, we'll start chapter. What is it? Oh, let me move some things. Chapter five: Suspicious Minds. Wonder what that's about. Mm. Well, well, we'll see when we get there. But until next time, bye bye.